Personal story segment tonight, column in the Wall Street Journal recently caught my eye. It was written by a Yale professor, David Galenter, who says, who says, he's voting for Trump, even though he's not very happy about it. Professor joins us now here in New York City, down from New Haven. So, I mean, if you, you, you came out of the closet. <laughs> you, you, and, and so I can't imagine at Yale, do, what do they say to you? You're voting for Trump. What do they say? Well, they're used to it. I've been out of this closet. I've been a Republican for a long but time. But it's different with. But Trump. it's true. It's right, true. Right. Even the even the uh, one percent, half of one percent, of Republicans at Yale are scared to death of Trump. So yeah, it's a, it's a different thing. So you and say it's about ninety nine percent liberal Democrat at Yale. I would say ninety nine, ninety nine and a half percent. Wow. Not just liberal leftists. Wouldn't wouldn't they do better up there if they had a few? Uh, you know, they they all speak about diversity. Wouldn't it would be a little, little diversity to get somebody in there? Now, why uh, you, you're not a big Trump fan, True. but you're 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 casting your ballot for him. Why? Uh, I have no choice. It's my duty as a citizen to look at the big picture. Trump is a bum. It, with respect to his dealings with women, I'm not proud of what he's done, and he's not proud of what he's done. But I have a responsibility to look at what kind of president Hillary Clinton would make. And a, and a woman who has been a career liar, who spent her career selling out the United States, making a principle and a practice of doing that, I have no reason to doubt that she's going to continue All lying. right, so your vote is basically that she's worse than he is. She's worse than he is, and we need... Uh, we need somebody who is not scared to make big changes. Right. Trump is not my pick, but, but I he's think he's not scared. He's, but he's not scared. Okay. And Hillary Clinton would pretty much do what Barack Obama has done. Now, um, Secretary Clinton's a Yale Law School grad, right? <laughs> She's a, she got absolutely, that going. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Do they like her up at Yale? Are they is like promoting Hillary Clinton? Do they think she's going to be a good? They don't president? have to promote her. They're madly in love with her. Are but they really? Yeah. I, I will say not to the extent that they love Obama. Obama really rings the bell for them. Uh huh. But. The Clintons have been big at Yale since Bill's earliest days, since, he, since Bill was governor in Arkansas. Now, your peers who teach him. at Yale, um, do they ever come up and congratulate you on your courage? <laughs> no, I'm serious. Well, they say, look, we may not, not agree like with you, you, Professor, <laughs> but you're pretty courageous to do what you did, write the journal article and be outspoken. I'll, I'll tell you, to be fair, Yale has been, uh, Yale, Yale has been fair to me, but um, it helps that... Um, they live in an intellectual ghetto, like all major universities. They read the New York Times. That's it. And, and it's for the students, too. The faculty and the students don't have a clue. So there's no ro in robust the debate up there? There's no Yale factor? If I publish in the Wall Street Journal, they have no clue. That oh, I'm, they don't even know they, it. They don't even know it. <laughs> Is it banned? If I'm on this show, which may be watched all over the country, You'll they've know, They'll know it. this. They'll, be, hurt, you know, because they'll hear the, the rumor. Yeah, the internet. It'll get out on the That's internet, true. right? And then, and, but then when you go back to Yale, I mean, what? The, but you, but you to, can't underestimate the incredible parochialness yeah. of Yale, of Harvard, of Stanford. Is, is it, is it an arrogance? Is it a snootiness? Is that what it's based on, or just they're just unrealistic? It's a professional arrogance. It's not like these are unpleasant people. Mm -hmm. They're they're easygoing. They're friendly and so forth. It's a, it's a professional arrogance. It says our business is to be smarter than everybody else. But they the can't world. say they're smarter than you. I mean, they, they don't know anything about me except I'm weird and and <laughs> interested in Republicans. All right. Well, Halloween's coming up, and I, I think I'm going to go trick or treating up at Yale. That would love to have you. Yeah, that'll liven the campus up a little bit. Consider it an invitation. All right, Professor. Thanks very much.